Coming up next to the stage is Derek Brown. So, the night after the election. Last night, the streets became paved in drop jaws, and the sky a blanket of white flags waving. For there isn't enough newly legalized weed in our fair city to ease the quaking discomfort of our collective ache. I welcome the amputation. Use that rusty sword with native blood and strange fruit still cleaving to its blade. You can take this hand so that I can never again press colored ink into predetermined holes only for them to sell me an illusion of choice down at a designated voting pole. Do us all a favor and build that wall you covered so much. Build the biggest wall you can. At least those on the outside will be spared the cyanide we will be swallowing for the next four years here in the land of promiscuity. And if you think I'm meant to say opportunity, you are so sadly mistaken. Simply put, the powers that be are going to fuck you. And they're gonna fuck you, and they're gonna fuck you, and they're gonna fuck you, and they're gonna fuck one, and they're gonna fuck all. There will be no cuddling afterwards or phone calls the next day. Uh, only an unpaid yeah. hotel bill room, oh sorry, only an unpaid hotel room bill and a tacky red hat that says thanks for making America great again. Mm. They say pain is weakness leaving the body. Well I beg to differ. How can daydreams of assassination plots be anything but a grenade pen begging to be pulled? When you mix tan, blue, and red poll results with a white 1%, you birth the rainbow of kamikaze pilots looking for redemption in your kaboom. Mm. 